had with the Scottish Association for Marine Science about its research into reducing the deaths of cetaceans from fishing line entanglements. Cabinet Secretary. The Scottish Government is aware of the research into entanglement of sensitive marine species and creel lines and we are currently considering its findings. Now, we welcome the ongoing support from fishers to trial solutions to reduce such entanglement events and the role of SAMs in this work. We are fully committed to tackling this issue and through the future catching policy we will be working with stakeholders to deliver action to reduce and, where possible, eliminate bycatch and entanglement of sensitive marine species as part of a wider effort to ensure the sustainability of our fisheries. Kenneth Gibson. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that response. Creeling is a low impact form of fishing. However, rope used to connect the creels is causing an ever greater number of cetaceans, such as porpoises, humpback and minke whales, as well as basking sharks to drown after being entangled. A trial of sinking ground line, which is only slightly heavier than standard rope, with creel boats operated around the North West Highlands, has proven to be a simple and effective method of reducing the risk of entanglement in static gear. Therefore, will the Scottish Government explore facilitating a wider rollout of sinking ground line across the static gear fleet to ensure Scotland retains its position as a European leader in marine mammal conservation? Cabinet Secretary. Uh, first of all, I really want to thank the, the member for raising this research because we are always interested when it comes to uh, research reports such as this and its findings, and that is why we will be giving it our full consideration. Now, I have just mentioned our future catching policy, and as part of the discussions that we are taking forward in relation to that, we will be arranging a stakeholder workshop on sensitive species bycatch this summer, and we will be using that meeting as an opportunity to discuss the findings of this report with the industry. Now, our vision for fisheries in Scotland has sustainable management at its heart and we support good practice by the fishing industry and we are really pleased to see the level of support from fishers to trial solutions to reduce marine animal entanglements as part of this project. And supplementary, Peter Swishart. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Kenneth Gibson is right to highlight the ongoing work to trial solutions to prevent cetacean deaths. Entanglement also imposes, poses risks to seabirds like gannets and is a danger to shipping. Damage from ghost fishing gear to the propeller of Northlink's freight vessel MV Hellier recently took it out of the lifeline service for weeks. So what efforts is being made by the Scottish Government to prevent ghost fishing gear and thereby reduce entanglements which are a danger to sea life, fishing and shipping? Cabinet Secretary. I, I, again, the member raises a, some really important points there, and I think in relation to seabirds, we have the seabird conservation strategy um, and work ongoing in that regard. But in relation to discarded fishing gear, as she mentions, we are actually currently supporting the development of a European standard for recyclability and circularity in fishing and aquaculture gear. And that standard will provide the guidance and encourage designers, makers, and users to adopt best practice and available technologies to ensure that gear stays in use for as long as possible and that includes the retrieval in the event of it being lost and I think there are also a number, um, number of important initiatives that we're part of to help tackle this problem and one of those is the Global Ghost Cure, uh, Gear Initiative and Chemo's Fishing for Litter Initiative to promote behaviour change and I think by supporting projects such as that and by undertaking these other advances in other areas hopefully we're taking a rounded approach to really try to get to grips with those problems. Question number eight, Graeme Simpson. Thank you. To ask the Scottish Government